Hello everyone. It's James again. And before I start today's video. I just want to quickly say. All work in this video contains 100% original content of and by myself James Smith, otherwise known as Bigood4000, and was uniquely created with normal software, by myself James Smith. As I purchased commercial rights from Normal to produce my unique and original video with this software. Commentary is uniquely my own thoughts, feelings, and expressions. Now that I have that out of the way. I do hope your day is going way better than fantastic. And your journey to self-betterment is going way better than fantastic as well. Today I remembered an odd fact or happening of my growing up years with my narcissist mother. And what makes this so funny not funny? Is as you all know. I was the scapegoat of the family. I was treated without love and without kindness and care. I was constantly told I was the problem for everything bad and wrong in our home. But something would happen once or twice a year. Because my mother came from a decent sized family. Some narcissists. Some scapegoats. Some I'm not sure about. And though I was poor and my mother never worked and just spent the money she snagged from my father. Once she broke up with him. Which eventually the money ran out. And we were pretty darn poor. But a couple of times a year. Birthdays and I believe Christmas. Some of the family members would give a card for my brother and I. With five dollars each for us. A few gave us ten dollars each. Well for a handful of years while this was happening. I could have fifty dollars. Sixty dollars. Or seventy dollars to my name. I would always hang on to it and not want to spend it. Because I knew once it was gone it was gone. Until the next year. I might buy a comic book. Or something like that. But. I was really good about hanging on to the money. Without spending it. But it seemed like clockwork. Within a handful of months of getting this money for my birthday or Christmas. The same mother of mine that blamed me for everything and told me how bad of a son I was. Would be asking me. Her six. Seven eight year old son. Do you think I can borrow your fifty dollars? I will pay you back a little bit at a time James. Is that okay? Sometimes she would borrow some of it. Sometimes she would borrow all of it. And each and every time. I lent her the money. Sometimes I got it back. Sometimes I didn't. And when I did get it back it was several months later. Sometimes even a year or so later in a few cases. As there were times she owed me for more than one birthday monies and still hadn't paid me back yet. And is back asking for more. Why is this important? Well first it's odd I just remember this fact. But most importantly. My mother. And if this happened to you too. Your parent. No matter if it were your mother or father. But in this case. My mother smeared my name to all that would listen. That I was such a terrible son. Rotten to the core. A son that didn't know how to treat his mother right. A son that caused his mother so much stress. Yet she felt comfortable enough to ask her grade school aged son. To borrow his birthday money. Why? Because she knew her son was none of those lies she told others. She knew her son would give his last penny to his mother. I one time. Asked my mother. Why not ask my golden child brother for his money? And she replied. Because he's selfish. He won't lend any to me. Now do I know if that was true or not? I don't know. Maybe she was getting money from the both of us. Maybe it was just me. I don't know. But she thought so low of me. But yet felt it was perfectly fine to take money from me at the same time. Make that make sense. All of the things. All of the ugly things. Your narcissist parent or parents said about you. They didn't believe and they knew they were lies. Because if the poop hit the fan. And I'm sure it did a few times in your home. Your parent or parents likely were coming to you for help. In one way or another. Why? Because they knew you loved them. 
and they knew you were a decent person. But this is also where we learn to be taken advantage of. It all started when we were kids with situations like this. Someone lying on you and mistreating you. But then coming to you asking to borrow money. Utterly amazing. Well. I wanted to just share this thought I had today. Please let me know. Did this happen to you too? I'm curious. With that said. I do hope your day is blessed. And until next time. Bye for now. And be good to yourself.